people like to gamify stuff. So <laughs> if they can do it one way. You are. <laughs> You're you're so right. And and actually, there's no formal definition mm -hmm. of what an ultra processed food is versus a, a processed food. And technically, everything we consume is processed to some degree, even mm -hmm. produce, even frozen vegetables. Processing is not inherently bad. Um, but colloquially, when we think of ultra processed, we're thinking of things that have added fats and added sugars and added salts and things like that. Um, like if you're looking at potato chips. You know, yes, they're fried in oil, but it's not the oil itself, right? It's the proportion of your diet that is being made up of foods that might be high in calories, but they don't have a lot of vitamins and minerals or they're high in fat, but they don't have good proteins or carbohydrates. And so it's not about the single ingredient, right? So why are we vilifying a single ingredient when instead we should be focusing on these healthy patterns? And they're not mutually exclusive, right? You can have a really healthy, balanced, diverse diet and you can go have ice cream or have a bag of chips or have some cookies. Like, you know, they don't have to be mutually exclusive. But again, it becomes this all or nothing phenomenon where it's like, well, we're going to take our pitchforks out and go after linoleic acid when in reality it has nothing to do with it. Yeah.